welcome back. In today's video, I'll be sharing with you my 11 insanely useful makeup tips you need to know. Basically, I was doing a mini makeup tutorial on my Snapchat the other day, and I was like, I have so many tips when it comes to the full makeup look. I wish I knew these makeup tips back in the day. It would have made my life so much easier, but that's why I'm making this video for you guys so that you can learn from them and also incorporate them into your everyday makeup routine. So if you want to see more tips, hacks in the makeup area, be sure to give it a thumbs up and also to subscribe to my channel so I can go to make more. All right, are you guys ready? Let's get started. First up, foundation. Using one of my favorites, the Maybelline Fit Me in 125, along with the YSL Moisture Glow and the Bare Minerals Eternal Elixir. I'm going to add all three of these guys into a little dish which I bought from the dollar store. Now I've been doing my foundation this way to help make my skin look super glowy and the biggest tip is adding a few drops of the oils into it. It makes your skin look really dewy and youthful. Now taking my Marc Jacobs foundation brush, I'm going to apply this all over the face, starting in the middle and working my way out. Now on to concealer. I'll be using the Almay Age Essentials Concealer with SPF. A great tip is to apply concealer in two shades. First, use a shade that really matches your skin tone. I'm going to apply this in a triangle shape underneath the eyes, and then I'm gonna grab my lighter Smashbox 24 Hour Studio Concealer and apply this over the first concealer in three little dots. Then taking my Beauty Blender, I'm going to blend this in really well into the skin. Moving on to brows with my Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade, I always find that starting at the arch helps create a soft, natural brow. And then you work your way into the inner eyebrow using all your leftover product for that natural look. Next stop, eyeshadow. I'm going to apply the Annabelle Eye Primer to my lids so whatever I put on top will stay on. Now for color, I'm actually going to use the Smashbox Contour Stick for shadow. A great tip for beginners is that using cream shadow and blending it in with your fingers can give you the most natural look if you're just beginning to get into eyeshadow. And to make sure it stays on all day, I'm going to use my Annabelle Skinny Palette to go over the cream shadow. This is a great tip to stop creasing in the eyelids. I'm also going to run a little bit of this over the bottom lash line as well. And you've made it for another giveaway. Are you guys ready for this? This is probably the biggest makeup giveaway I've ever done on my channel, and one lucky winner is going to get all of this. This giveaway includes five NYX Liquid Suede Cream Lipsticks and the Cosmic Metals Lip Creams, the Wanderlust LA Eyeshadow Palette, the Ombre Blush Palette, the MAC Ruby Woo Perfume, four Clinique Crayola Sticks, four Lancome Juicy Shakers, the Urban Decay Optical Illusion Complexion Primer, a pair of Bluebird Beauty Lashes, and a Connolly Makeup Bag. OMG. To enter this giveaway, there are three simple rules. Number one, you must be subscribed to my YouTube channel, Chew Tips. Number two, follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, and repost this giveaway photo with the hashtag WinWithChew. And number three, leave a comment below. All the details will be in the description box, and I've also added extra ways to enter to up your chances of winning, so be sure to read the contest rules. All right, now let's get right back to the video. For eyeliner, because you guys know I love me some cat eye, I'll be using the L'Oreal Voluminous Liner Noir to create a winged eye. Tip, start at the outer corners and then inner, then wing it out. Thumbs up if you also love cat eyes as much as I do. Now I'm going to curl my lashes and apply a few coats of the Marcel Ultimate Volume Mascara on the upper and lower lashes. I love how this mascara gives me that fluttery, wispy look. On to my favorite part, contouring. I've been using the Maybelline Dark Concealer in Cafe to help contour my cheekbones. A great tip is to start at the hairline near the top of the ear and dabbing a few spots towards the outer corners of the mouth. I'm going to do this on both sides and also on the nose as well. Then taking a wet beauty blender, I'm going to blend this contour into the skin. Also, I find that using the bottom part of the beauty blender works amazing for the cheekbones and for the nose. Flip it over and use a tip and blend. For blush, I'm using the L'Oreal Infallible Blush Palette and I'm going for a natural blush look and lightly applying it with my Real Techniques blush brush. What I like to do here for a tip is to have at least three feet away from my mirror so it doesn't look like I'm putting too much on. Now I gotta tell you guys, I have been obsessed with highlighting and the Tata Harper highlight cream is so bomb. Here's the tip, I just take my blender and squeeze it so it's more narrow and apply this on the cheekbones and bridge of the nose. Onto the lips, if you want more defined lips, a tip is to apply a nude color in the middle of the lips. Here I'm using the Liz Wattier 24 Hours Glam and blending it in with my ring finger. 
Then taking the Tartius Lip Paint in Birthday Suit, which by the way, I'm loving right now, I'm going to apply this on the lips. And to finish off this look, I'm going to apply my Ardell Wispy Lashes with the House of Lashes glue. Apply the glue, let it get a little dry, and then bend the lashes so it makes it easier to place on the lashes. And last but not least, I'm going to set this all in with the Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray, and now we're done! I wanted to make this video because there are already so many steps when it comes to a full makeup look. I wanted to add a tip for each step so that if you're putting on your foundation a certain way and it's not really working out for you, maybe it will help you either make it easier for you or make the outcome a little bit nicer or smoother. Whatever it is, I hope it helped and if it did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and also to subscribe to my channel and comment below and let me know if you have any useful tips you want to share with me or with the Chu family. I love you guys. Thanks so much for tuning in today and I'll see you all very soon in my next video. Bye for now. Want to see more? Watch my latest videos for even more giveaways.